Oh, hey, you're here. It's Michael Carbonaro. Thank you for watching tonight's premiere episode of The Carbonaro Effect, season three. Um, this is the after effect. I'm gonna answer your questions. Thank you for writing them in on Facebook and Twitter. And let's get to it. Uh, Belle writes the first question. She says, are you shooting all the new episodes in Chicago? Uh, how is it different from Atlanta? Yes, we've shot, I've shot hidden camera stuff in LA. Uh, we did a lot of Carbonaro effect in Atlanta. And now we're in Chicago. Different. Uh, yeah, it's different, you know? I think the people are um, maybe a little tougher. I think that uh, in Georgia, there was, there, I think people are a little more polite. They're, they weren't mean in Chicago, but, and I'm from New York, so just a little more tough. I found it a little hard to grab attention and a little hard to keep attention to. A little uh, coffee and steamed milk. <laughs> yeah, it's really distinct. So, but it was fun. I like a challenge. Good question. Uh, next question is from Puller. Hey, Puller. Puller on in here. Why did you guys shoot so many scenes at the Abraham Lincoln statue? Hello. Hey. How are you? Well, here we are. Uh, that was a budgetary concern. We thought maybe we should get as much magic as possible while in the presence of a president. That's the truth. Uh, Jeff says, when that woman asked you the name of the coffee, <laughs> did you have the name already prepared? <laughs> no, you can see that. What, who is this coffee by? Uh, you know, it's, it's Chicago Bean and Steam. Wow. Yeah. I'm clearly coming up with it. And I was actually, in that moment, I was so afraid that I was gonna say something that's an actual brand name, you know, which we don't do because of all kinds of reasons behind the scenes. So I was just like, yes, that's Chicago Bean and Steam, hoping that nobody has ever named their coffee business that, because it's a terrible name. Thank you, came up with it myself. And that's actually true. Shayla says, that subway trick was so effective was it hard to find someone who didn't actually know what side of the track they were on? So this is south. Yes. It was important to find like a section of the train platform that looked similar on each side. So the confusing, it, it, that it would be confusing, just a lot of metal, a lot of stairs, a lot of something, you know, that you wouldn't know any landmarks and know where you were, because we had her kind of lose her sense of direction. This is the south side? Oh yeah, that's definitely the north side. Oh, that's the south side or this is? I'm supposed to be on the south. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for writing your questions in. You could write more to hashtag AskMichaelCarbonaro on Facebook or Twitter, and I will be back next week to answer more. Thanks for watching, bye. Carbonaro effect.